why I think the All Right Zero Dawn DLC will hit in 2017. I will share my theory in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit that like button. So yeah, 2017. There are multiple reasons why I think that this is the year that we will see the Horizon Zero Dawn story expansion. One is that Guerrilla Games always works ahead. They're always working on the next thing before the other project is out. While working on Killzone Shadowfall, the PS4 launch game, Guerrilla Games was also making Horizon Zero Dawn. Look at this Guerrilla Games video from PlayStation Japan at the beginning of 2014. This was shot to promote the PS4 at launch. Well, we are working on a new IP. Uh, we started on that already two and a half years ago, but unfortunately we cannot share details yet of the new IP, so you'll have to be a bit more patient on that. Two and a half years already. This is a little bit extreme, of course, because this was a new IP, but it still shows you that they have multiple teams at the Guerrilla Games making different stuff. It of course makes sense that they are working ahead as well. What will a concept artist, for example, do when the game is in polished pace? So that means that they are like making sure that the game is as bug free as possible. Well, he will be working on what's next. He will not be doing bug testing as well. What I'm trying to say is that I think that they're already well on their way with this story expansion. And this mirrors what Herman Hulst, of course the managing director at Guerrilla Games said after the announcement that Horizon Zero Dawn sold extremely well with 2.6 million units after two weeks. This is Herman Hulst's statement, quote, This is only the beginning of Aloy's story and our exploration of the world of Horizon Zero Dawn, with the team already hard at work on expansion to the story, end quote. Already hard at work? Okay, I think that this story expansion is already well in production. Looking at Guerrilla Games track record, I think we can also kinda expect this DLC rather sooner than later. Killzone 3 map packs came out 3 months after the release and then 3 months later as well. The Killzone Shadowfall Intercept DLC came out 7 months after the Killzone Shadowfall release. And yes, I know that the story expansion from Horizon Zero Dawn is different than map packs and a co-op mode for a shooter, but it still shows that Guerrilla Games can make quality content pretty quickly, same with their games. I think that Guerrilla Games will be the only Sony first party studio that will release 3 titles on the PlayStation 4. We will have Killzone Shadowfall at launch, Horizon Zero Dawn and Horizon Zero Dawn 2 or whatever the next game that Guerrilla Games is probably already working on will be called. And I think that this next Horizon Zero Dawn game, so not the DLC but the real game, will probably be at the end of the PS4 life cycle, that it will also get a PlayStation 5 edition. Anyway, this is my speculation, kind of like what happened with The Last of Us. And you might think, oh whoa, so that means at the end of 2019, early 2020, in the new Horizon Zero Dawn game, well, it's not really weird if we look at the track record of games that they released and what time was in between them. Killzone 1 to Killzone Liberation was 2 years, 3 years in between Killzone Liberation and Killzone 2, 2 years in between Killzone 2 and Killzone 3 and the same goes for Killzone 3 to Killzone Shadowfall. Now Killzone Shadowfall to Horizon Zero Dawn was little more than 3 years but that's not weird since Horizon Zero Dawn was a completely new direction for the studio but now they have the groundwork the people in place, they know what to do for the venture, they have a ton of ideas. So I think that we can expect this content pretty rapidly, just like they had with the Killzone games. I don't want to say that we will see Horizon Zero Dawn 2 in two years, so in two, early 2019, but like I already said, holiday 2019 or early 2020 is totally an option in my opinion. Okay, back to the DLC, sorry for that sidestep. But I think that my point is pretty clear. Guerrilla Games can make quality content pretty fast, so a 2017 release for the DLC makes a ton of sense. 2017 also makes a ton of sense if we compare it to other DLC releases that other big PS4 exclusives got. It seems like Sony is following the same trend for every big PS4 title that they own. Release the game, update it a little bit and then get one big DLC out down the line. We saw it with Drive Club that got Drive Club bikes after release. We saw it with Bloodborne and the Old Hunters DLC, Infamous Second Son that had the infamous First Light content, Kills on Shadowfall that I already mentioned with the Intercept DLC. We will get Uncharted The Lost Legacy soon, of course a DLC for Uncharted 4. It seems like Horizon Zero Dawn will get the same treatment and if we look at the release windows of these DLC packs that I just mentioned, 
is that they released pretty close to the main game. The Old Hunters DLC came out in November 2015 when Bloodborne was released in March 2015. Infamous Second Son was released in March the year before Bloodborne and got new content in August the same year. Killzone had a November release and June the DLC release. So yeah, apart from the Naughty Dog games that simply take a long time to create, and it also looks like The Lost Legacy will be more like a new game. I mean, they're already talking about that it's more than 10 hours than a DLC, because DLC, more than 10 hours of new content in the style of Uncharted is pretty big. And yeah, Drive Club Bikes of course was also released later, but that was mostly because of the bad production for that game. And they of course needed to fix the game first before releasing new content. That online debacle, remember? Anyway, I think that the trend for the PS4 exclusives and their DLC is pretty obvious. So making a 2017 release for Horizon Zero Dawn DLC is even more likely. It's also that Sony could use it. Not that the PS4 is not doing great, no no, but in terms of new content releases. They have an amazing upcoming lineup. But I don't think that one of the big titles, apart from maybe God of War, and then I don't count Gran Turismo Sport since that game was delayed out of 2016. Anyway, I don't think that Detroit Days Gone, Spider-Man, Death Stranding, Lost Wars Part 2 will be out in 2017. So then you have Uncharted The Lost Legacy, Gran Turismo Sport, and maybe, maybe God of War. So an Horizon Zero Dawn DLC would be great for Sony to have. Yeah, more exposure for the console with exclusive content. Show that E3 2017 in June, released in October or September. I think that August is too soon, but that would of course be a great month. Watch my other video on why I think that the E3 trailer in June for Horizon Zero Dawn DLC makes a lot of sense. Subscribe for everything Horizon Zero Dawn, like the video if you did, and I will speak to you next time. Thanks a lot for watching, goodbye.